Hey everybody and welcome to the shop. My name is Grant and I'm a boat builder in Northern Michigan. Today we're going to be testing all these varnishes to see which one holds up best to the abuse. Should be fun, let's get to it. You've made it this far, so thank you. Please consider subscribing, and when you do, make sure you hit the little bell icon down there. If you do that, and then you stick around to the end of this video, you can learn how you can win something. Let's get back to beating up varnish. Now I wanted to talk for half a second about the four tests that we're going to do on these pieces. Now you'll notice that all of this is actually cedar. All of these pieces were cut from the same board, um, so they should be pretty consistent. The reason I picked cedar over mahogany or teak is it's extremely soft, so we actually get to see the resistance that's involved with the varnish and not so much the substrate. At least that's my thought on it. Uh, one of these pieces, this little guy here, is actually going to go outside and it's going to stay there for a year. So there will be a follow-up video to this uh, where we get to see the results of that. The bottom will be sealed in epoxy, so there's no water coming up from underneath. It'll just have to be the actual varnish that fails or doesn't fail. Uh, another piece is going to get turned face down in a bucket of water. And we're going to leave that there for another extended period of time. And I'll probably cover the results of that in the same video. That leaves our third piece, which is going to get scratched and it's going to get dented. 
Uh, as far as causing dents, I've got this little rig set up here with a hammer where I can drop it from the same height for every piece so we get a good consistent result. The other thing we're going to do is take this chunk of lead and I'm going to put a piece of tape on the bottom of it covered in cat litter and drag it across the surface and we'll see how everything holds up. All of these varnishes are coated to the recommended minimum number of coats that is on the can. So they should all be within reasonable tolerances to test. Uh, I think they're still a little soft, but they should be able to perform well enough to show us what we want to know. Uh, as these varnishes age, they will all get a little bit tougher. Uh, I know they're all a little green. In a perfect world, I'd be able to give these two weeks to set up before I do any of this, but you got to live with what you got. For the scratch test, we'll start off with Lust. Now we'll give it two swipes and see what happens. Let's try Gleam. Pet it High Build. Pet it Captains. Pet it Flagship. Epiphanus. Man of War. So after doing the test with the cat litter for scratching, I'm just not happy with the results. There was more denting than scratching actually involved. So we're gonna set it up and I'm gonna try a wire brush on everything and see what happens. So let's take a close look at all of these. This is Total Boat Lust. You can see the impacts. Pretty good resistance there. All these dents are from when I tried to use the cat litter. And then this scratching is actually from using the wire brush. And took a fair amount to create that. I had a lot of down pressure going on over in the gleam department. Uh, I scratched the living daylights out of this. Try I mean, I had to really work to get that much scratch. This seems to be an extremely hard varnish. The dents, uh, you'll see they have a little more fracturing going on. Um, doesn't show up as much where the cat litter was on it, but very tough varnish. The Pettit High Build, I didn't have to work as hard to create this scratch with the wire brush. Um, it dented really easily, as you can see here. Um, there was a lot of very deep penetration uh, over here on the captains. Uh, I had to work a little bit harder to get that scratch. And the cat litter obviously dented really well. Uh, and the impact resistance was actually pretty decent. Uh, the first hit did quite a bit of damage, but the second held up very well. Uh, you get into flagship and it was again a very tough varnish. Um, I would say this one is probably as hard as the lust is. Um, it didn't seem quite as affected by the impacts. Uh, this has just got a little bit of fracturing going on in it but the second didn't have hardly any. Um, Let's move on to Epiphanus. The impacts both fractured. Uh, I had to work pretty good to get that scratch in it. It was very hard. Uh, and of course you can see all of the kitty litter issues going on here. But still a pretty darn good varnish in my book. Then we get on to Man of War. Now it's the testing was around a knot so you're going to have variance in the structure of this wood as far as its ability to compress and all of that. So the substrate wasn't a true honest test here. I'll own that. But as far as impacts go, very good resistance. Scratching, again, a very resilient varnish. If you stuck around this long, you're probably 
just a glutton for punishment or you're a greedy bugger that wants to learn how you might win something. Uh, wait another minute or two, we'll get to you. You've got to be a subscriber to the channel. That's my big caveat to this. And then you're going to leave me a comment down below and it can be any comment you want. Your video sucks or why don't you build this next time or something like that. And I will randomly select one of those to win a sticker from the company that provided me with Man of War Varnish. That is Kirby Paint Company. They're a family owned business. They have been for over a hundred years. They're fantastic to work with. I've called them up a couple of times just to pester them. And George Kirby has answered the phone every time I've called. So I can't say enough about how friendly they are. Another company, while we're on that note, that I really want to make special mention of is Total Boat. They were the first company that I contacted actually about doing this varnish test and they didn't hesitate. Um, I think I got two boxes of varnishes from them and this is just a smattering of their total product line. It is fantastic. So you will not go wrong with Total Boat or Kirby. These others in the middle, they're fantastic companies. Uh, I've never tried to contact Pettit or Epiphanis, but I've heard, only ever heard good things after 15 years of building boats about both of them. If I had to pick just one of these, and then I'll get off my soapbox and you can go on to something more entertaining, I would probably go with Total Boat Lust for my everyday carry as far as a varnish is concerned, and that is due to its one hour overcoat. Uh, if I've got to go out to a boat to do a repair, that ability to put varnish down without sanding saves the customer a ton of money. I think with all of these other varnishes, I would have to wait, I don't know, probably five days to get a total buildup. Go there, sand it, coat it, go home. Go there, sand it, coat it. I mean, it just, it adds up. So that's why I would go with Total Boat Lust, and it seems to wear really well. Um, I did an entire 26 foot boat with it last winter, and it still looks great this year. So yeah, I would absolutely use any of these varnishes. Please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.